Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Lone Star Chick Plans and we are back. Um, I feel like we just spoke, right? But uh, anyways, we're, we're back with a new video. Um, this one is going to be our budget with me for paycheck number two of August. And um, yeah, let's get into um, the numbers. Um, let's just go for it um the spreadsheet is uh, i want to start with the spreadsheet the spreadsheet is always linked in my description below as far as i know the links are all still current and they still work they still sell it it's just a little bit more updated with unlimited data um spots where you can put your data in versus mine is just a little bit limited but it works for me so i haven't bought the new version i'm still using the old version that i originally bought a year ago or so i think i've been doing this style of budgeting for the last I think since June of last year, so a little bit over a year is how I've been budgeting this way. And let me tell you, it made all the world of difference um, for me. Um, I do like the digital budgeting. Um, I also like the paper. So sometimes from time to time I do the paper. I do have a planner, so I am a planner girly and I do like the digital um, I like the digital because I can have it with me wherever I go. I also like the paper when I'm at home and I'm working on numbers and just trying to, you know, maybe move some stuff around or calculate some things. I do like paper versus digital as well. But for the most part, this is kind of like my holy grail is my digital budget. And I like that it's a Google sheet. I can totally customize it. I am able to copy and paste the tabs below so I can make if I was a paycheck um, weekly paycheck budgeter I could definitely copy this paycheck budget four times or five times however I wanted to do it um, there's just so much you can do with it and I don't even use all of the tabs that it came with it came with so much like a bill calendar um, a sinking funds tracker kind of like a debt tracker um, they didn't really work for me in the way that I preferred so i don't use them i just kind of hid them but the main thing i do use out of it is the paycheck dashboard so i've just copied and pasted that so that i have two for the month because i am a semi-monthly paid employee i do not get paid every week or every other week i get paid twice a month so i unfortunately never have a magic month so you will never hear me talk about a magic month so sad i know um tell me about it but um i do get paid twice a month and it's usually on like about the 15th and the 30th 31st something like that so because of my banking institution i do get paid a little bit earlier so i am able to take advantage of getting you know adjusting my budget to a couple of days earlier a couple of days later however i like because of the way i get paid so um i do budget twice a month so for this paycheck this is, um, if you watched my last budget closeout video or my last budget with me for the first paycheck of July, you'll know that that paycheck for July is bill heavy. So I have aligned most of my bills to fall within that paycheck. And this paycheck number two is pretty much bill free um, other than my Hulu subscription but um and that's only because i have a great price otherwise i would have canceled it and have it all aligned with my first paycheck but because it's such a great price um i left it alone and it's very minimal so i just like it's not even there but on this paycheck is a paycheck that i usually pay debt with so um because i have aligned my bills to the first paycheck this whole paycheck can be all debt payments so that's how i've kind of lined it up um, so for the first of the month, we just kind of get all the bills out of the way and the second paycheck of the month is all debt. So I kind of like it, um, that way so that when we're starting the next month, we're starting off fresh, but anyways, so that is kind of how my budget works. Um, I don't have a mortgage. I don't have car notes. Um, right now we have everything, everything that we have is paid. So you will not see that in my budget. Sorry um we have already paid those things off so we've already have our house paid off our vehicles are paid off so right now basically we just have bills and then we have our home insurance our windstorm because we live close to the coast we have to have hurricane insurance and then um our car insurance and that all comes um 
that we definitely pay those bills we do, we do have those bills but you do not see that in this budget because those are simply transfers to savings that we don't talk about here so yes we do have those bills but you will you really won't see that in my budget here because it's not coming out of this budget so um we do also invest um but you won't see that here because it's already taken out of our paychecks so you won't see that um reflected here you'll see what's left after that so um yeah so that's kind of pretty much how the budget goes so we just have basically the basics on here um that we pay with our paycheck and we do save we do sinking funds um we do save for our emergency fund or e-fund or however you want to call that and then we pay bills so this paycheck is going to be debt heavy so let's see what we do what the plan is so let's get into it so we're going to start this budget on or about august the 14th and it's going to go through about the 29th of the month so rollover from last paycheck was 26 dollars 42 so i'm just about a pretty much zero based budget i've got 10 cents left that's unallocated so pretty much all of it's allocated out um, minus the 10 cents. So we're just gonna leave that alone because um, I like to deal with whole dollars. I'm not worried about the cents. Um, I am worried about the cents, but I'm not worried about the cents as far as like the budget. I'm okay with 10 cents sitting there. Um, it doesn't drive me crazy. Um, so paycheck. So paycheck came in 2058.91 um my son contributed 200 and we deposited 153 dollars for my canva and google one renewal annual renewals so um we're definitely um deposited that money so that we can pay those bills because those came from our sinking funds so we'll get into savings here so i have 125 off the top for our house savings and this is for our emergency savings maintenance savings um just kind of a catch-all savings for our house or household um as we'd like to say um we don't have them separate or allocated into certain amounts um we just throw money into this account and this is kind of like our saving grace if something were to happen so we just throw money every paycheck in there. So I put 125, you know, out of, you know, one paycheck. And then um, we contribute 125 from my, um, we take it out of my husband's paycheck when he gets paid because we get paid at different times. So that's 125. Um, our sinking funds, I have decided to cut out some of our, most of our sinking funds. And we've got it down to $117, which you'll see in my cash stuffing video i have kind of cut a lot of these out this month because i have a goal every month of trying to pay a thousand dollars towards discover to try to get it paid as fast as possible so in order to make that happen i did have to cut this back a little bit and so i decided to leave in christmas and we're going to do two envelopes instead of our normal three so we've got 35 and 36 because we're also getting into the higher numbers so it's also more money every time so um every time we're saving it's even more money than the last time so um i decided to stick to two numbers this time and that will give us a new balance of 666 dollars and i actually already have the cash I'm ready to do the cash stuffing video. I just haven't done it yet. And we're doing like the 52 envelope challenge for that. So the envelopes that we're gonna be stuffing is uh, envelope 35 and 36. And then we've got our quarterly trash bill. That's kind of like a bill, but we only pay it every quarter. So um, I just save for it in between. So I'm still saving for it every month. And then I just deposit it into my account every quarter and then make that payment. So right now um, we're on the second month and then that will bring us to a balance of $92. Um, a lot of these um, other amounts here that you see, some have just renewed or are going to renew this month, like Amazon, Canva, and Google One. So I figured I could afford to skip them this month because they have just renewed. And then some of my other ones, I will definitely try and play catch up next month. And some, I feel like we have a decent amount in there right now. So I'm not really like 
too crazy on um, spending or saving um, any more money in those amounts right now. So I think we're okay. So I decided that it was okay to cut back on some of them. So that's kind of what I did. So that's where we ended up with $117. So going to be kind of a boring cash stuffing if you ask me. But um, something is better than nothing. And I definitely wanted to focus and continue saving for Christmas because that is a big deal for me. I want to be able to have that available when it's time. So I definitely wanted to stick to that at least. So I think we've been averaging between like four and five hundred dollars for sinking funds, but we are going to put 117. So that's what we're going to do. And for this paycheck, I do contribute um, ten dollars once a month to my SoFi IRA. Um, I just opened it on the side um, and I am investing in that and I actually have a few hundred dollars already from just the last year of contributing ten dollars so it's a little bit but a little bit goes a long way because as it's being invested it's actually growing so it's actually doing pretty good so I'm happy with the results so far I feel like it's it's making pretty good progress and we've made pretty good headway so I'm happy I'm pleased um, so I'm gonna continue doing that and it's ten dollars okay so um, we're not breaking the bank um so for bills we've got um, Hulu is the only bill on this paycheck and it is three dollars and twenty four cents I noticed that last month I put thirteen dollars and twenty four cents I don't know where I got that from maybe I fumbled you know fat fingered it or something but um, so anyways it should be three dollars and twenty four cents so um, I went ahead and changed it on this on this month and I fixed next month's already because I already started to budget for next month. So um, I went ahead and fixed it, but I can't believe I did that and I didn't see that. I don't know what happened. But anyways, um, loan number two. So for debt, our plan is to pay $275 for loan number two, which is my student loans. Um, and then that's our normal amount. And then um, discover look at that number 1000 so that's what i'm focused on paying and if everything goes to budget then we have budgeted with 10 cents left over and we will be able to make the one thousand dollar payment so i am definitely happy with that so for groceries and variables um we've budgeted nine hundred and seven dollars and ninety nine cents our actuals we've already kind of started spending some money so that is two hundred and four sixty nine so we still have seven hundred and three dollars and thirty cents in the budget so we've budgeted four hundred dollars for groceries which is the usual amount but if you guys have watched my last budget closeout um i'm hoping to not spend the whole four hundred but I also want to do a big meat stock up again at Sam's. So I may or may not. I'm not sure. I may wait till the next paycheck. Um, and then just buy whatever to get by for now. So that's $400. Um, we budgeted $100 for eating out. Um, $75 for gas. I'm budgeting zero for pets because we just bought her a bag of dog food. I don't think we'll need one before the next paycheck. So... I'm gonna budget zero for beauty this is just $65 to get my lashes refilled um, spending money um, I put 116 because from what I cut out of my sinking funds I had some extra cash left over so I bumped up eating out to 100 and then I put the rest which was $16 towards spending because Lord knows we need it there so we've already accounted for $50 of it. And so we've got 65 left. Um, $119.99 for the renewal of Canva for the year. And the renewal of my Google One subscription for $32. And this is so that I can have extra storage in my Google, Google Drive. So um, yeah, so that is what we're looking like. Um, I've already kind of spent a little bit of money, so I did save 125 towards our house savings. I did pay for my student loan. That was 275 I did contribute $10 to my IRA. 
and then i did buy a coffee for two dollars and 17 cents at mcdonald's um i did go out for lunch with my um co-workers at chewy's um haven't settled the amount yet because we're gonna be splitting it so i'm waiting to see how much that nets out to um I did buy my order on Shine that was $50.28 and then my renewal of Canva $119.99 and sinking funds for $117 and then I did put gas for $32.25 today Saturday. So um, that is what we got so far. So yeah you guys um, that's kind of how we're looking. I'm hoping to be able to make that $1,000 payment so we'll see how that goes um, and that's how we're doing it so um that's kind of how we're looking um so far and hopefully paycheck goes to plan we do have a couple of birthdays coming up so that may kind of go towards spending and eating out um, my mom's birthday is coming up in another week or so my um, niece's birthday is also today tomorrow tomorrow uh saturday and then um my cousin's birthday is the week after that and then my mom's birthday so we've got a lot of august birthday stuff going on which is you know also gonna affect spending a little bit but hey we're here for the memories and the family stuff so that's what we're gonna do but anyways that's it for the budget for this paycheck paycheck number two for the month of august and i'll see you guys in the next one bye